All right, so after you download an app, so you've got some app, you click download here and you choose iOS and it takes a, a, a few minutes, you know, like it, it, the preview could be up to like 50 minutes, right? But eventually you're gonna get an email on your iPad um, from, from this download. And, and if I go over to my tablet and my tablet, by the way, is projecting over here on the screen and I open up the email, it gives me not only instructions, but it's also gives me the, the, a button to actually download don't download the thing. Okay, so I'm going to click on this download button. But notice, I have to also um, change some settings on my on my phone, whether it's iOS or Android. You basically got to tell your device, yeah, it's okay to to install this app that's not coming from the official app store. So that's the basic idea. So I'm just going to click to download this thing um, on my device here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's downloading. Um, click on this download button here. I'm just going to choose install. Um, and it's going to install install the app for me. And, you know, I've already changed my settings to allow it. And I'll show you just how to change those settings in a second. Um, but now I should have an app, which is this, this new app that we just built. And there's notice there's my Say It app. Notice it has the icon that we set in the designer for, for the app. So here's the designer and we went in and gave it an app name, which is say it. And then we gave it the icon, which is that ugly looking say it thing over here and on this thing. So, that, so it's kind of nice. You can build an app that looks like an app and has an icon that you want um, for, for, for your app. Um, but let me just bring up the email again and um, let's see. So if I click on this email, you know, just check out these instru instructions, but basically want to go to generate or sorry, general and device management. Um, so I'll do that here on my settings and you want to go to general and device management. Here it is down here. And you'll notice I've already got rapidly so rapidly is thunkable's parent company um, and you just need to trust rapidly and um, that's when you when you try to install it'll it'll basically say do you want to trust rapidly it'll just say yes and once you do that you can you can run the app just like any other app now there's one restriction um, when you download an app in this way not through the app store on apple um, you can only have one such app at all times okay so you couldn't download all your apps in this way this is really kind of more for testing um you can send these you know that same email you could send to others and they can install it you know as well so you could send it to your mom or whatever but you know it's it's really not for mass distribution and that through that with apple they're very restricted you got to go through the through the app store um, and that's where the 99 dollars a year comes in and as far as the app, apple developer um, so anyway, that's how you can um, actually get one of your apps you built onto your device. Um, the The Android uh, download is is much simpler and easier, um, and you can do as many apps as you want if if you have an Android phone.